Hello everybody, welcome to Season 46 of Chalice, the first round match between Bazakastine and his Amazons and more Plovac and his Kemri and oh my god, we're starting with a blitz. Boy howdy, in the booth with me is Calcium and Fimea, hello! Hello everybody, and I think this Amazon team is the one that is 42 hours because he started trying to qualify the last day or the last couple days and he was playing like... 17 games in a row, 19 games in a row. It was absolutely mental. Yes. Yes. <laughs> so, yeah. I just I just struggled to play five games on the bounce. The fifth game, I literally wanted to kill someone. Um, so God knows how you can play more than that. You know, 10, 15 games on the bounce. It's, well, it's, it's a kind of blood bowl stamina that clearly I don't possess. With Amazons, you know, so yeah. Yeah, to be fair, Amazons are pretty brainless most of the time, aren't they? You can switch off. You can switch off for eight of those ten games and still win them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah to be fair, Don, that is usually how I start game one as well. I actually had a lot of fun. I actually had a lot of fun today tearing up Rebel. It's great, isn't it? <laughs> oh dear. Ruining Rebel dreams. Oh, I love it. <laughs> and he, he, you know, yeah. So yeah. Um, so for the background, Baz's team is called Forty Two Hours because he created this team Forty Two Hours before the deadline. Played loads and loads of Blood Bowl at the end, and he's made a decent team, hasn't he? Five guards, add ups, strength up. Like it's actually just a really good team. Unbelievable, really. Apart from he's gone down the Dio route and given Hail Mary pass to his throw, which is like incomprehensively stupid. <laughs> stupid, isn't it? Like I just. I, I don't uh, I don't know. I, it's like okay, uh, you do you. But mm -hmm. uh, passing with Amazons always seems like a bad idea. And Hail Mary passing looks like I don't know. I don't know. But people seems to like it, so there you. Yeah, I don't understand it because Dio's Dio's really good at the blood balls, and then he just like he advocates for Hail Mary pass unironically, and then like other people who are good at blood balls agree with him, and it's just and now Baza, who's good, has taken Hail Mary pass, and it's just like I just don't understand it. I just don't understand it. Fancy investing forty-two hours of your life. Um, you know, pre-Chalice into a team that actually has 0% chance of ever winning the Chalice. You know, um, respect for that. <laughs> yes. Yes, yes, yes that's uh, another side of the competition that they like, I don't get very well, but to each their own, they enjoy playing blue ball with these teams and they want to see how far they can take them. Yeah. What Baza basically did was he went, do you know what? I've got 42 hours to qualify for the chalice. What race am I going to use? I know, Amazons. <laughs> he was probably naked while he did that as well. To be fair, uh, he was uh, streaming it. Drunk. He was streaming it, and you are more or less right. <laughs> <laughs> Fat, drunk, and stupid is no way to go through life. That's uh, <laughs> airplane, wasn't it? Don't know, Jim. I think so. <laughs> That really spoke to me when I was younger. Yeah. <laughs> so, you know, I stopped drinking. <laughs> Straight in with the reroll. Animal House. Oh, I don't know. I don't know anything, Tony. I don't know anything. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Well, I, I, you, I can't. I couldn't change being stupid. <laughs> Unfortunately, that would be the. That would be the. That should be the easiest one to fix as well. But uh, I haven't. I haven't tried. I think it's still a bit soon for Gdanek, uh Kilsey uh, to bring that up. Just saying. You know, arguably one of the best necro teams we've seen in quite a while. <laughs> Pretty much like. Um, oh, Jim, what is it? Oh, hang on. Tip of my tongue. Hang on. No, don't. Don't say. I've got this. Um. Um. Oh, yeah, it was an elf team, wasn't it? Yeah, the best elf, elf team, team that never what, what... qualified for Chalice. <laughs> yeah, wood elves, I believe. Yes, with uh, one turners and 85 uh, war dancers. Uh, yeah, yeah. I think you two are making it up. That would definitely qualify for Chalice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. That's going to go down in legend, isn't it? That, 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 is, that is an event in Blood Bowl history. It really is. <laughs> 
Right. Is he in range to just score? No, he... No, no one out, any? he? Yes, mm -hmm. and he can't chain either. But, I mean, he obviously just wants to come back and then have an offensive drive. But, like, if if things looked really bad, he could have he could have done, couldn't he? But he's got the guard in, so he can just blitz this guy anyway. And, uh, and just one in I... nine. Like, it sucks one in nine, but you got to do it. Side Sideline cage here, Jim? Nah, nah, he can, he can get quite back quite far. One, two, three, four, five, six... Can't he? I would just go back all the way to there and just have an offensive yeah. drive. <laughs> You'd be like, thanks. <laughs> See you later. <laughs> See you later, dickheads. I guess it would be safer to, to hand off to the... I guess oh, so what, what he's probably t delaying is he's probably thinking about just dodging this guy out and then handing off. But that's a yeah. bit dangerous still. I, I don't like it. I think it's too dangerous. I think you should just try and... and like It's a one in nine. Okay, the one in nine might fail. But I think it's... it's I think you've got to do it. To be honest, going centre pitch right now against Kemri, it's really good remaining centre pitch against Kemri, isn't it? Cause you, you can just destroy them to the left or right when you please. Yeah. Well, it's not like the Amazons can outrun uh, the Kemri completely, but yeah, the two guardians in front of a blotch piece, they're going to have uh, a lot of problems. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. And, and funnily enough, they had a great record early when they weren't good, right? They went 13-2-1. I'm like, oh, this is it. This is the season. And then they just did rubbish once they got all the edge five. They had three edge five and then and then they just couldn't win a game. <laughs> he has the one turner that never scored that one turn. <laughs> yeah. Ah, yes, quads and EG, yeah. Why would you want to play someone who knows what they're doing exactly? And especially especially in that time zone, um, Gdynik. Gdynik is a significant uh, threat at that time, isn't he? <laughs> if, I was, if I was spinning at that time of night, I would definitely be watching Nick's, <laughs> Nick's stream. <laughs> no, no shame whatsoever. And you can always uh, find a store at any time of day or night. True, yeah, you can't it always nice. check his stream, though. I didn't find him today. I was looking for store today. <laughs> yeah, I, I, didn't, I didn't bump into him. Yeah. Yeah. Right, I'm going to get a cup of tea here, so, so I'm sure you guys can, can call this amazing hot action of, you know, slow teams bashing around, not killing each other. See your pants stuff, can barely keep up. The blitz was pretty brutal, wasn't it? Shallow kick, yeah, blitz, yeah. it was wow. brutal, wasn't it? The Kemri are in huge trouble on this drive. All they can really do now is bang out men's, isn't it? Yes, they are now in a defensive drive out of the blue. And two. <laughs> yeah. And uh, Morplovak only has one tackler in the team. Uh, uh, no, he's got two. Both both blitz ras. Yeah, oh, blood blitz ras. Yes. Yeah. Well, the the Pom Juggernaut one is really nice. Uh, Juggernaut's a bit wasted in this matchup, but uh, Morplovak's refusing to roll pals at the moment as well, which really doesn't help. Didn't we roll that? He re rolled it last turn, didn't he? But didn't yeah. we roll that one, which was the right thing to do. Oh, there you go. Is the player getting the job done? DP, see, Feyme. Best players uh, in the game. Best <laughs> players, always, always the most dangerous players on the pitch. Oh, yeah. So now we have the old switch Cheroo. No inducements, as far as I can see. So no wizard here. I guess I should open the game my end as opposed to relying on Jim's stream because it's like a 10 second delay, I think, on Jim's stream. Oh, no, I just watch... Uh, oh, he's sharing Jim's his screen. screen. Oh. Yes, he's sharing the screen. Okay. 
There we go. And now... The game begins. It's like turn one in an offensive drive. Yeah, oh, one in my humble opinion, one of the best commentators that I've ever heard in my life. Doesn't really change anything, but I think it was important for Baza to centralize. So this this is fine. Do you know what? Even if he doesn't score on this drive, and he's likely to score on this drive now, but even if he doesn't, it's not the end of the world. Just got oh, to keep mental It's what, mental it's what you want. It's what yeah. you want in the in your defensive drive. Stopping yeah. the other team for scoring. Yeah. Uh, just looking. Oh, so Baza's got a babe. Fame. All right. Yes, this is life. Yeah, sadly, this is live. Um, so it's not going to be a 24 minute game. <laughs> More Plovacos are going to need a lot of pause this game. Yeah. <clears throat> Hello. Oof, oh, goals. that's not pause. No. Bad choice, rolling uh, double scars. Yeah, it's silly, isn't it? He hasn't removed anyone yet. Uh, as Plo, he's obviously not been practicing the same dice he had against me in CNA. <laughs> But yeah, he, like he's got tackle palm, hasn't he? Uh, didn't blitz yeah, with tackle palm yes. though. Didn't blitz with tackle palm, so I guess that's his fault. I'm not so sure about um, using a blitz ra to base a mighty blow, Amazon, where a guard assist gives him, you know, gives up an easy two D. Yeah. <clears throat> Um, get, having two, having two big boys on the ball is pretty good, though, isn't it? Because like he really yeah. wants to. To be fair, Baza should have maybe tried to hand off to this blitzer last turn or something, or, or the or the thrower. Like at some point, like I don't know, he couldn't, could he? I don't know, maybe he could have done. Yeah, he I think he could have manufactured it. Yeah, because like it really sucks up like having the game on one of one in nine. Right, it's just terrible. But I guess he's got he's got uh, he's got a. Uh, Player here, and he could hit from there. This guard could go in here, couldn't he? And then he could chain. Yeah. Um, um, and then try and hand off to this one. Yeah. Yeah, that's what he's doing. That's exactly what's going to happen. <laughs> yeah, Kales, he maybe he will. Yeah, I, I just realised that. Oh, okay, that's not what he's going to do. Oh, he's just going. He's just not going to chain. He's just going to hit. I think the chain was better. Strength falls on. So yeah, that's fine, isn't it? Yeah. Because the push here left left his edge four exposed, which was a bit rubbish, wasn't it? I mean, I don't know what was better, but I like doing the chain just because it just because you can make you f makes you feel like you're clever, <laughs> yeah. and that's important, isn't it? And you can say you exactly. can say to everybody, you know, look how clever I am. I did a chain push. <laughs> I did a chain push. Look how big my bollocks are. Honestly, <laughs> big rim play. <laughs> Can you play, guys? <laughs> <laughs> oh, your chain push was so good. Let me create all your balls. <laughs> See, it's already working. <laughs> <laughs> Result. <laughs> <laughs> um, you, you do the four plus dodge here, don't you, to get the two D there? I think that's yep. that's quite reasonable. And then probably do that this dodge at the end. Maybe even the foul. Maybe even the foul the Tomb Guardian. Yeah, do the four plus to get the two D. And then it's gonna be oh. a forty two on the Tomb Garden. Tomb Guardian? Tomb Garden. <laughs> Tomb Garden, yeah. <laughs> you know. <laughs> oh my god, I can't say that. I was gonna say something really bad, but uh I managed not to. Twenty twenty two, Jim. <laughs> <laughs> I nearly said something really bad, but I, I didn't. Go me. I just went for the he went for the one D rather than the. I, I prefer the dodge two D. Hmm. I wonder which is better.
Because it's a 66 to get the push, isn't it, if you uh, if you 1D. Whereas yeah. if you if you dodge, you're 75%, but then you're, not, you're still like only 55% of power, and you're still giving up the mighty blow hit on a, on a rookie, which isn't great. But then obviously you've more, got more chance of knocking him down, 55 instead of 33, and you've got another player stood up that could be potentially much stronger. I just heard numbers there, Jim, I'll be honest with you. <laughs> <laughs> just numbers. They meant nothing. <laughs> Fair enough. Oh, Fair you. enough. oh, big, big as well, one of the edge falls. Has Paul forgotten this guy? <laughs> I think he has forgotten about that guy, yes. <laughs> He's been there all game. <laughs> <laughs> My last opponent earlier did that Morehouse from Fumble. Wow. Um, at the end of the game, he was like, "Oh yeah, but you know, I had an eight out of nine chance, and then three plus and this like and the hypotenuse of the I don't give a fuck, you know." And honestly, I'm like, "Mate, I'm not fucking interested. Seriously." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for the burrito, that's the thing. Like, genuinely, if if I, oh wow, if I was in range, the turn that Baza was in, like you know, he wasn't in range. He was one away from being in range. If I'd been in range, I would have scored then. And maybe it's Basil would have done as well, because like offense against Kemri is crap, isn't it? Like you can look at look how horrible it looks. Do you know what I mean? Like they've got um, this strength five and everything. It's it's brutal. Like offense yes. against Kemri is hard. And Apple failed. Apple failed. Oof. Yeah. Oof. Sorta of had to Apo that as well. Yeah. You know, no one likes Apo in an MNG, do they? Um it's always the MNGs that trip you up <laughs> yeah. when it comes to Apos. Yeah. I mean, it's a good player, isn't it? It's guard. It's one of his few guard against going against strength five. Yeah. You know, Toomey's. Um, I think it makes a lot of sense to Apple guard. He'd already just lost to the other edge four guard. Like, if this had been Miss Nest game, I would have 100% Apple this because it's edge four. Mighty blow tackle. Oh, that's four. a reroll. Yeah, but he, he had to get it on the edge four, I think. Yes. Yeah. Because it's just it's just too like it's too easy to get based by a Toomey and then you're like, well I can't budge him, I've got to dodge with the ball carrier and, and you don't just lose the game on a one in nine. Hail Mary Pass is in play. I repeat, Hail Mary Pass is in play. <laughs> Fua <laughs> But Plo has the has the has, has the has the H and P covered. <laughs> covered with the throw rather. <laughs> I think I speak for the whole of your chat, Jim, when I say we demand a HMP. <laughs> yeah. Oh, big region. It is his only mighty blow and his only tackle, but there's only one dodge, so that so the, the tackle doesn't really matter. And the mighty blow doesn't matter that much because he's probably going to have to be blitzing with strength four. So it's not that good, but it is a guard. I think it's more that it's a guard than the mighty blow or the tackle, to be honest. Mm. One of his two tackles. I vote against letting Kaz speak for chat. I've heard him speak. <laughs> Fair enough. Kickoff return. Yeah, that that was uh, that was what it was like. You know, on the ball. Like once it got repackaged and it won the ball. Um, I I agree. I agree. J five. Yeah. I think it's more important not burning your food, Matto. <laughs> this will take a while. <laughs> even even if it's next turn, it's still going to take a while, isn't it? To resolve the, uh, the HMP. But yeah, it's, it's, fu it's funny how hard offense against Camry is. Especially with a team that is not particularly fast. Yeah. You that yeah, and you've got to split right, Camry up, right. haven't you? You've got to split them in two. You got to split them in banks of players. If you don't, if they manage to maintain position with their with the amount of strength they've got, um, it's just not going to end well. So you, you've got to split them up. Oh, I don't like this. Like, robbed himself an extra block, hasn't he? Because uh, you know that could have just blocked anywhere. Sort of yeah. Like I mean, it's it's. I say that I don't like it. It's strong, but like you know, it's not it's not ideal, is it? I guess he thought it was worth it. Like, there's a lot of position on gain from being able to get him around there, so it's probably not what he wanted to do, but felt he had to do it. Uh, 
But HMP got nerfed in, in, in Blood Bowl 3, didn't it? Uh, you know, Blood Bowl oh, 2020 rules. Thanks it's... God. Thanks <laughs> God, because it was so, it's such a game-breaking skill in Blood Bowl 2, you know? That mm. it, like, whew, <laughs> finally, against Warsaw, got something right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it got it got mega nerfed. You, you just get like you have like you still have the minuses for the uh, for the pass. It's, it's stupid. Stupid. <laughs> Do Brits have a kettle for tea and then a separate kettle to boil meat? <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, we don't have a meat boiling kettle. Maybe, yeah, I bet so. Yeah. They use the same one. I bet if you were on Dragon's Den with with a meat boiling kettle, they'd be quite they'd be, they'd be quite on board with it. <laughs> Sounds like a pretty good idea to me. Is that for that? Is that for that chlorinated chicken in a can? You know when they pull out this nasty looking space egg? It looks like a fucking face hugger, let alone a chicken. <laughs> Honestly. <laughs> Oh, oh wow! Wow, there there really is there really is a kettle for me. <laughs> there isn't, is there? Yeah. I thought, it was a, I thought it was a joke as well. I, I think I, I think they're called pots, and they've been existing for a while. No, no. Wow. Look, look, look here's here's an, here's a, here's a thing. Wow. Kale's at E was right. <laughs> to everybody's to everybody's shock. Holy <laughs> shit. <laughs> what? It's a kettle for meat. <laughs> It's actually called a water bath. Yes. Wow. Look, and it was 240 quid, but now it's only 166. What an offer. Oh, my youngest two in for a treat. It's water bath time, kids. <laughs> you found the meat kettles. <laughs> That sounds a bit wrong when you say it like that, Jim. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at the meat kettle on that. <laughs> She's got a lovely pair of meat kettles. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <clears throat> Jesus. <laughs> Right, what are we going to do here? An uphill? Can you see the play, guys? I think it might have to be an uphill. I think that's how bad yeah. it's looking. If you want to score, I think you, I think you have to do the uphill. Uh, if you don't do the uphill, I think you don't score. But, which might be okay, right? You're still stopping him scoring. You can, it's a lot safer to not do the uphill and just stop the score. I think he, yeah, yeah, when you yeah, were, when you were gone, Jim, I, I said... Um, <gasps> he's going to... He's, he's, he? he's, he's going to do the Hail Mary! He's he can do the uphill! He can do the uphill and still stall! Oh, amazing! No, he's not doing the uphill. Boo! He's got a Hail Mary, isn't he? He's not, he's not giving up nothing. Yeah, he's This not. is some 4D chess shit going on right now. Holy shit, yeah. Yeah, he can still run around here. It's just it's just a lot worse, right? I think uphilling, uphilling the... The Tomb Guardian was so much better because you just like you get to flood down instead of uh, just going to the side. The Hail Mary Potato. <laughs> this is brilliant. <laughs> He's gonna Hail Mary it. Well, to do it only. <laughs> Hail Mary pass to the other side of the pitch. More blower <laughs> can't score anyway. <laughs> I'm just looking forward to being. Seeing this live, we were there <laughs> when Bazaar invoked the Hail Mary pass. <laughs> oh, man. As you know, Hail Mary pass uh, can be pass blocked, so it's like even better. Counters oh, are the, the, the other, the other uh, most powerful skill in uh, Blood Bowl. Oh my god. That was a great play there, getting all four crap dice in a row to make sure he didn't he didn't die. <laughs> Absolutely brilliant. One one two one. Oh man, Hail Mary 
pass. Let's flip and go. It's happening, lads. It's <laughs> happening. <laughs> more oh, more only... playback's got a problem here, isn't he? Because he's got no rerolls. <laughs> yeah. Which really, really sucks. His, his tacklers are out of position. Yes. Yeah, that's poor. I mean, that that's on him, right? There's no... It's terrible to have both tacklers on the seat, like, next to each other. Like, that. that is... Yeah. I don't it's know terrible. how that happened, but it's, it's more terrible. Blowback, you know, so... <laughs> don't be mean. Um, don't be mean, <laughs> Oh, dear. <laughs> don't watch the rod. <laughs> he needs to blitz the scoring thread there. Mm. <laughs> Can you imagine if it works? Oh, he's not blitzed him. Oh wow! He's going to three. He's, what? He's going to cheat? No! Oh my god! Oh my god! Plot. What? Okay. Hey, this is a strategy. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know what they achieved. What that achieved, but okay. Because he's only, um, you know, dodge, obviously dodged this Zon out into a scoring position. Um, and then these other Zons are only a couple of sneaky dodges away from getting through, aren't they? Yeah, yeah he, he moved him there. Like, he had to move him there. But, like, he could have just moved him there and blitzed him. That's that, that's way better than blitzing this guy. It doesn't do anything. And then he had to do a GFI. He could have just moved him there. Yeah. And hit him. He has to have noticed Hill Mary. He has to have done. <clears throat> well, if he hasn't noticed it now, he's going to notice it in a second, Jim. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's happening. It's happening, lads. So now do you uphill uphill blitz uphill. this maybe? Oh yeah, you yeah. uphill blitz this one, and then uphill and then run game. down and yeah. then dodge the other one. Yeah. Let's just stand him up, and then you can tag both of these guys, and just have players down the field as well. Yeah. He's already blitzed. Oh, oh yeah. Well, I didn't. I don't oh, like that. I don't like that. Um, so he's four plus three plus then, isn't he? With one of the zones. Yeah. Oh yeah. I don't like that. Do I not like that? I think it was much better to uphill blitz. Can you shoot a play, guys? Yeah. It's well. It's hard, isn't it? Oh god. Oh god. Oh well. There you go. Yeah. So it was uphill blocking instead of dodging through there. But now it means he can't. Because he's failed, he can't heal Mary this turn. Hmm. Oh, don't deny me the Hail Mary pass. I've been waiting for this two seasons of CCL. <laughs> he would have failed everything with those dice, yeah. Well, yeah, it was dub school, wasn't it? The first one. Yeah, so he would have double won the Hail Mary pass. But I mean, it doesn't matter. I was about to say, do you one. blitz this scoring threat or not? I, I would have, I, I would have probably blitzed the scoring threat because yes. she doesn't have block. Does it have block and it has catch? <laughs> yeah, I, I yeah. would have done last turn, but this time I'll go for the, I'll go for the score now. Let's plow. Oh yes, true. Star eight. Yes, I forgot this. The more no, I would, I would have blitzed drive. her. I would have blitzed her away from the end zone. Um, you know, given her um, GFIs to roll as well as. Dodging. Holy shit, guys! It's happening. It's really unlikely that, that the Hail Mary works, right? That's the thing. So I, I would, I would, I would have gone for the my own my own touchdown as, as low odds as it would be. Just because yeah, it was, he's uh, low odds as well. Four plus. For one D. Yeah, yeah. And pray. He had this guy. Well, he's going to double GFI this in, and then so he'd have. Well, that's right. But he's adding more rolls to a very already complicated situation. Yeah. Diving catch works with Hail Mary Pass, doesn't it? Yep. He does. He doesn't have any divine catch though. No. What a shame. Yep. Because you, you'd actually <laughs> divide, you'd actually team. dive and catch your way out of those tackle yes. zones, wouldn't you? <laughs> this team needed fifty more games. Fifty more games to be challenged ready. Oh, he's not even Hail Mary. He's just doing the long bomb. Boo. 
Oh wow! Oh wow! <laughs> oh wow! What a play! Respect from thrower to thrower. Respect. <laughs> A successful defense for the Zons, anyway. Yes, yes, yes. You can ask for anything more. Anything mm. more is being greedy. Yeah. I mean, Irish rounder, be serious, right? Be serious for a minute. He's taken Hail Mary pass on his throw. He's got to use Hail Mary pass. Yes. <laughs> yes, why you pick a skills that you don't use? It's like the people that doesn't pile on. Why you pick pile on? Get sugar now, then. <laughs> Yeah, it's too funny. He had to do the Hail Mary. Jim Shard. Mm. And now the Amazons with a setup for offense, which is going to look a lot like the first half. <laughs> He took it so you think he'll use it. Wow. He just did it. He just did it to bait the commentary team. What a scumbag. <laughs> <laughs> scumbag Bazza. Yeah. Imagine... Breaking my heart. How he does. <laughs> Imagine not having a bludger for, for however many games he's played on this team just just to troll us in the playoffs. <laughs> Disgusterous. The best that's, part that's is some it, next level mental warfare that my bash brain can't cope with, Jim. <laughs> yes. The best part is the rolling the IG4 after getting Hail Mary pass. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I throw it. Yeah, no, of course it's not the player is rounded, but it's funny, isn't it? And that's the only reason to take Hail Mary pass. <laughs> yeah, he should have, what he should have done was he should have, first of all, he should have given himself more than one scoring threat. I mean, you know, and that's on Baza, really, despite. You know, some decent pressure from the Kenry. I think you could have manufactured that. And two, he should have fired Hail Mary pass, you know, the other side of the pitch at turn 15 and made the Kenry scramble with no rerolls. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. It's hard though. Like uh, he wanted to, right? He wanted to on turn 15, didn't he? He was doing that uphill block, and then if that had been anything but a skull, yeah. he would have dodged his, 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 uh, his second blitzer through, and then he would have launched the HMP. So we just nearly, we, we nearly got it. But unfortunately, we were robbed due to the skulls. Jim Shard. What's going on? I don't know, but it's been going for a while. It must be on pause or something. Mm. Uh, more probably is the streaming. Let's see what's happening there. All right. Seems the pause, the pause is over. Cool. <laughs> Chit chat with their family, yes. Yeah. I think blue, blue ball coaches have families. don't think, Johnny Five, that HMP frees the throw, right? I just think that was more Plovac forgetting him. <laughs> yes, yes, that was uh, uh, oh, a Daka with the Sons. That's a very optimistic uh, thought with a movement says team. It could be the play, though, couldn't it? I think you should think about it. But it would be a Daka for, what, two turns? Because you're going to need, like, six turns to yeah. <laughs> climb the pitch. Well, the Tomb Guardians are movement four, right? So it's like isolating them for a bit. It's stopping you taking two tackle pom hits. It's yes, giving but, uh, it's giving Ploy a chance to put his ta tackle players both next to each other again. <laughs> but if you apply a purple chest theorem to the Tomb Guardians, they become movement six. Mm. Very good point. Yeah, yeah, my bad. <laughs> Also, the abilities class with tackle move 6-2, so... <laughs> yeah. The, uh, 
There is, however, of course, that the, the main thing to remember is, of course, if the DACA doesn't work, it proves that the DACA is terrible. <laughs> well, the DACA with Hail Mary Pass. Yeah. Maybe he'll like half dacker it and like uh, block two people on the LOS, then blitz the edge four, and then move everyone back. Yeah, yeah I mean you can. Uh, that's gonna be it because he can uh, blitz any of the two guardians. It's glorious. Too many players in best. No, I won't yeah. Give me yeah, exactly. That, that's what I was thinking. You're already like just half blitz anyway, so you're already basically set up to dacker defend. anyway, right? I mean, he's not. He couldn't fold. If he was going to fold, I would have put both guys on the edges and then the edge four holding everyone. He could have dackered if he if he'd wanted, but um, obviously he didn't want to, which is which is fine. I don't think that you should dacker every drive. <laughs> don't think it's always correct. But I think well, more or less, he still he still can start doing the. Well, he could do the dacker just moving the Amazons. Two scores back. Yeah, yeah. Um, in Veliset, thank you very much for staying fantastic for one whole beaver pregnancy. Absolutely glorious. Thank you very much. Oh, that was a bad blitz. Might have been better off not even making that blitz. Eh? I hate blitzing wrestlers. That's why I like to take wrestle first on, on elves because it just makes them an annoying blitz target, doesn't it? That was, that was horrible for him, really. This is going to be tough. This is going to be tough for Bazaar, isn't it? Yes. And that's just going to be tough for more probably trying to reach the ball. Yeah. I guess the good thing for Bazaar, for Bazaar is if, if he scores at any point, he wins probably because Kemri are so slow. So he doesn't have to stall it out till turn 8 as much. Yes. Also, I want to inform Calcium that he's uh, muted. In case he was talking or anything, Calcium, you are muted. Yeah, no, I'm uh, just got a uh, real life for a second, so thanks anyway. That's probably his uh, water bath arrived. <laughs> <He's>, <laughs> the meat kettle has arrived. <laughs> the meat kettle has arrived. <laughs> Is he already blitzed? There you go. Blitz with tackle and mighty blow. Good. <laughs> Useless. But that's the spirit. Yeah. The man kiss me, cow. <laughs> this, this is, is happening now. Happening so now. Yeah, this is, this is why uh, this is taking so long. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but... Mostly because the Cambrian animations takes five hours to move. Yeah. It was it was cast this live or play a game of of rats, so I thought, okay, let's let's do a live one. <laughs> Not that I have particular disdain for Skaven, of course, but I don't know. I'm a bit tired, bit tired after the ridiculous staying up till eight eight AM for no reason. <laughs> Amateur hour there was a new podcast that we created. It was uh, G'day Nick, uh, Daedalquist and myself on Nick's channel and we were called Amateur Hour and it was a panel of three people who, no matter what question you, you asked, we, it was guaranteed that none of us would be an expert. <laughs> <laughs> and it was pretty good. You should uh, record that on a pub where you know that's the proper place to have those conversations. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it'd be pretty good. It was a lot of fun. Probably Skaven, Norse, or Augurs. I mean, Augurs. Augurs definitely out of those. Well, not really. It's because Skaven you get to win. <laughs> definitely, Norse are the worst. And then Augurs have got. I guess I prefer. I uh, Maybe I enjoy Augurs more, but Augurs are also more frustrating, so it's. It's uh, Ogres is just a griefer team. It's only there to kill the other team. And you don't win anyway. 
Yeah, but Star isn't me, Kelsey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so Stor, we have agreed that's a very weird character. <laughs> Stor's going to have a lot of fun playing Norse until he runs into me, and I'm going to make that bitch cry. <laughs> Boy, howdy. Oh, he's blocked his dodge off. Well, yep, he's just realised he's blocked his dodge off. And he's thinking, shit, why did I do that one in nine dodge before this one in six, this one in three? Because obviously that one in three is more likely to fail, but you don't want an extra player tackle pond, do you? Wonderful turn for the Zons, roll all the three pluses. Get out of danger. Easiest yeah. turn of his life. Yeah. You know, people are different, right? Uh, Chunter has fun with rats every season. Uh, Space has fun with Norse every season. And um, Moomin Slayer has fun with Augers every season, right? Yeah. It's funny, isn't it? Because Chunter's um, synonymous with Skaven for all the right reasons. And space is synonymous with Norse for all the wrong reasons. <laughs> I would say also for the right reasons. Oh yeah, someone, it's, someone right. it's all subjective, isn't it? It's <laughs> fucking entertaining. The Norse spirit, the Norse concept that the space cadet. <laughs> yeah. No protection ever. Just roll dice. Drunk. <laughs> I'm a bit misunderstood when it comes to space. I love space. I really do. Every yeah. community needs a space magic. They really do. Oh, yeah, yeah. He's awesome. When, uh, when uh, he's in a role, he's absolutely awesome. It's glorious yeah. to uh, watch him. Very yeah. entertaining. Yeah, 100%. You know, that Blitzer there with the Juggernaut boom has been useless all game. Yeah. That's an, that's an awful push there. He's just pushed that guard and given Baza a 2D straight off the bat with yeah. that push. Yeah, that's hideous. Terrible push that was. <laughs> it's, pretty, it's pretty terrible. Maybe it's a trap push. <laughs> yeah, yeah, maybe there's some, some 4D Dabis bait Kals, going on. Dabis you know? Kals bait. Dabis Kals bait. <laughs> yeah. Would you consider punting a Tomb Guardian? I mean, I, 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 you should. You should, every, I mean, you should, right? At the end of the day, the answer to that is, I was trying to be, you should. You should always think about doing things like that, right? Um, now, whether the answer is yes or no, I don't know, because I'm not playing the game and I can't be. That's right, Jim, I got this that. one. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> you should always consider punting the Tomb Guardian. Yeah, like you should. You like you obviously should because there's always there's always there's always going to be times when like you know it's pretty it is pretty tough against it's pretty tough against Kemri defense, especially with a slow team. They could like and it's more like you know Kemri can beat the shit out of teams. It's it's kind of ridiculous that he's only taken one Kaz, and and that was it is only one because the app all failed. Like he's taken basically no damage. From like a tackle mighty and a tackle pom and a DP and a bench of three, like it's kind of crazy that he's just taken nothing. Um, so he's living a charmed life at the moment for sure. Is Baza? Well, he didn't use that guard. He, he put in a different guy. Well, he, I guess he used his his cancelling of the scanning. Yeah, but... yeah. Ooh, going for Whoa. a handoff to the catcher. So I guess he's committed. He's got to get in range then. He has to get in range because he's pretty much got to score next turn, otherwise he's going to be in a lot of trouble. I think. I, I he can just get in range with two GF, yeah. GFIs, can't he? Yeah, I think he probably has to. Yeah, he needs two GFIs to get in range. Well, the, the cage is based here, though. So. Yeah. Yeah. I will be using uh, Henry Pass just to establish dominance. <laughs> 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 we are all disappointed that the Hail Mary you know, pass was Hail Mary not invoked. Pass, any square in the pitch, next square. And off. <laughs> yeah, not putting himself into a scoring position is horrible here because, well, it's, it's going to be a struggle for the Kemri to reposition their way out of this, but it's possible. Yeah. And uh, he can free a Tomb Guardian here, can't he? Punch, punch. Yep. Tomb Guardian can he come can, in and get, uh, get in front of the ball. Yep. And there is a... 
The bomber can also more or less hit something on the way. One, two, three, four. Yeah. Five. Yeah. Big fat chain time. Oh yeah. Okay, that's even better. That's even better than just block, block free. Oh, look at the bollocks on more blowback. They're huge. Look at that chain, Jim. <laughs> oh my god. Huge bollocks. I want, I want to cup those testicles. Except right he now. didn't <laughs> chain him. He didn't chain no, the tomb yeah, guardian. Yeah. So it yeah. Was why terrible. didn't he chain the tomb guardian out? Yeah. Nomad. Um, <laughs> no, it just it just literally achieved nothing because <laughs> he could have made these two hits another anyway. Chain. Another chain, chaining to chain. <laughs> but yeah, he did chain to chain, and it's actually worse because now this guy's here, so push on the last hit is no good, and then he's blocking the tomb guardian instead. Wow. wow. He did a chain, no guys. <laughs> he chain turn. <laughs> Mental. He did a chain, so you know he's smart. <laughs> he did three. He did three. Yeah. I would prefer three in the Tomb Guardian, but the. Uh, yeah. I thought it was good because the Tomb Guardian won closer, and then he could have gone one, two, three, four, and then GFI, you know, into the. Maybe he's double GFI and definitely be able to get on the ball. Like, that's what I like doing. Oh, yeah, he could just do this blitz, and the Tomb Guardian could have gone one, two, three, four. Yeah, one GFI and then definitely tagging, but. I think you should have been Jim, in range because this is tough. Who are we to say if that was dog shit or absolute dog shit? <laughs> who are we to say? Yeah. Right? <laughs> That's fair. That's fair. But he did a chain, guys. Okay, there's the strength four going for the tackler, I guess. Yes. Yeah, he can just stall for another turn here, can't he? <laughs> Yeah, hopefully for him. <laughs> he needs to go straight in and double uh, base them two up. Oh man, that was bad timing by two heads, but I did exclamation point shit play and then it said check out my YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I hate what he's done here because you could wrestle the, the rookie catcher down which would then free up the tackle run. <laughs> yep. If he'd gone straight in, um, adjacent basing next to the other Amazon, then you wouldn't have been able to do that. You wouldn't have been able to free up that tackle run. Yep. Yeah. This is this is poor. I mean, he's he's got he's got edge four through, so he can he can tidy it up, but he's just got to expose more stuff. Yeah. This what this one can come through here to tag the Tomb Guardian. Yeah. yeah because right now the Tomb Guardian can uh, give the assist to the wrestler to I free the the tackler. Okay, Could so you not just me. run out of range of the just run out of range of the Tomb Guardian? No, not really. Not really. He's only moved six, isn't he? I guess. Yeah. I mean, you don't want to double GFI. I think it was easier to like tag and screen and. Okay, well, this, this is fine. Another GFI, and it's, yeah, yeah, yeah tidied this is up. Fine. This rat's are MA9. Yeah. And now he can try just extra dodges through, can't he? Get more guard yeah. around. Yeah, yeah. Hope he doesn't fail one in nines. Oh, spoke too early. Spoken yeah. like a true pro, Jim. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. There you go. Fails the second one in nine. Bosh. Fucking hell, getting mugged off by Dimmy, look. I know, yeah. Plays a little bit of Days Gone. Yeah. Thinks he thinks he's in a biker gang. Well, it's okay. We've we've got a way to deal with Dimmy here. Fuck <laughs> off, Dimmy. <laughs> <laughs> he's still the champ, even though he's given up, given up on Blood Bowl. Yeah, yeah, he is the champ. I love Dimmy. Really, Dimmy? Yeah. Have you stopped playing and taking a break? Yeah, and yeah, I love I that minor remote uh, with Dimmies as well. Love it. Playing uh, Dying Light. <laughs> yeah. I love I love Elliot's new emote of him getting slapped in the face by a dick. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Can someone put that up, please? I want to see this. <laughs> Dimmy's got it. It's brilliant. He's made, like, quad skull emotes. But <laughs> the Elliot one just looks like he's getting slapped in the face. <laughs> <laughs> What's that? It's, it's meant to be a baseball bat. 
<laughs> what, with a couple of acorns at the bottom of it? What, what, what is that? No, what am I supposed to do with the hand? Yeah. Yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, brilliant. Slightly phallic. <laughs> <laughs> Someone should tell Elio that there are some shapes he shouldn't draw. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Stop it. It's killing me. Oh my god. Yeah. Why does it have balls? <laughs> oh, oh my god. Yes, Swiss Rick, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I want to hear the accent for Swiss Rick. <laughs> oh man, do you remember Swiss Tony? On the fast chore. I did, I did. Yeah. Yeah, that was amazing. Holy shit. Holy shit. Someone should stream Blood Bowl like him. That would be amazing. <sighs> yeah, some great emotes. Some great emotes from Elliot there. Holy moly. <coughs> He's got he's got the GG one. He's got the he's got the GG. Uh, the oh, ooh, I thought that was the blitz there. But he's yeah, not so it. did I. Is he just going to uphill? Uh, it's a one D because he's got a guard assist in. Yeah, so yeah. So one D blitz. Yeah. Against no block, it's not horrible. Yeah, because that's what he's going to do. Yeah, the, the it's not the the not over remote is amazing. Yeah, holy shit. It's not over. Yeah, the, I guess the thing is, like, if you just push, then it's it's fucked, isn't it? Right. Whereas this way, if you push, you've still got a four, <laughs> four, four, three. I guess. I guess that's the idea. Oh, he could have he could have done something else as well, but it doesn't matter. He gets the four plus. Easy. So you stay put there, run the catcher down, add G4 to screen. Thank yeah. you very much. Yeah. yeah now I'd comes the, the, the legendary one in 36. This one here. And you should be all right, shouldn't you? Yeah. Oh, you can, just put, you can punch the tackler. Yeah, that's, that's better than dodging. <laughs> Significantly better, Jim. <laughs> yeah. Yes, there is still the other tackler next to the IG4, but uh, getting rid of the uh, bomber is always good. Yeah, yeah, you had to too. Yeah, you had to dodge with the strength four, didn't you? You had to dodge and then hit with the strength four. That was that was too too risky to work. I think. Yeah, I think I think he got away with one there, Baza. I think he got away with one. Like this is obviously better. It's just that it only works. I guess seventy five I guess he re rolls a non power so it only works seventy five percent of the time, but it was pretty risky, wasn't it? But I mean there's a higher payoff, so I guess that's just it, isn't it? That's the that's the assessment you've got to make is it's not just about risk of failure, is it? That's like the basic thing that people say is uh is, you know, like it's it's risk mitigation and everything, but it's not, is it? Because it is about payoffs and Yeah. And and that's it. Yeah, this is looking tough for uh, for Plo, but as long as he can put some pressure on, he might be able to have a three-turn drive to equalise. Uh, Dimmy, that that emote you've just posted from Kai Bear is that ha 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 or ah? <laughs> I think it's ah. Is it is it, ah? Isn't it? Yeah, it was. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was another Elliot emote there, but obviously Dimmy's got another friend. <laughs> <laughs> well, Dimmy, two friends. <laughs> Get him showing off. <laughs> no, exactly, Matt. Oh, exactly. Exactly. Oh wow, he's finally getting the removals on turn 13. This will make the uh, the dice log at the end look fair. <laughs> the classic, the classic dice dice log removals. 
it was all well, about the Blitz, really, wasn't it? The Blitz was just pretty yeah. devastating, wasn't it? Mm. But the ball is base, so that's, you know, uh, the moral victory goes to Morprovac. Yeah. Yeah, one and nines do happen. <laughs> yeah. So I guess you've just got a one in nine with this guy and then hit him because then the failure state's worse. That's what I think. Yeah. Dodge for the one. -er. Move this one somewhere. Yeah, that's good. That's good, PC. Yeah, yeah, that's that's better. Oh, he's not doing that. I don't hate taking the wrestler out of the equation here. Yeah. Yeah, and then you tag him a tomb guardian, so it's still the same yeah. kind of thing, minimising. Yeah, the, yeah, yeah. The risk, the failure, yeah, minimising no, failure is, state. Can he stall another turn? Oh, I don't think and he can. I think he's got to score now. This is exceedingly risky. He's Much to easier this. to stop Kemri, isn't it? Than yeah, I I, I like scoring here. Give him more playback free turns. But if he goes all the way to the right, <clears throat> what the what Kemri pieces can reach? Uh, he can release the two. He can release the blitz Yeah. Um, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. This is what yeah, I'm yeah. scared of. Yeah. Yeah, and you can't yeah, run out the, of range. The, the only way, the only way will be uh, moving all the way to the right and then dodging away from tackle, which is mm, I don't know. Yeah, I mean you've you've got the dodge away from tackle, and you can put a reroll in, so it's like it's not terrible, right? But um, I just with Kemri only having three turns, I just don't think they're going to score. So I, like that's why I would score it. It's Kemri with three turns, but. Like I don't know if it was like orcs, then yeah, you you, you run over there and you you dodge away and and try and do the stall. But I think against Kemri, I think you can you can hope they'll just be too slow. He's got kick as well, I believe. I believe he does have a kicker. Does Baza? Yeah, he does have a kick. See, so. That that yes. that you know, as much as I slit kick, and in these kind of situations, like Kemri with three turns, kicks great, isn't it? Because you're guaranteed getting it. Back it's Kemri somewhere. Kryptonite. That's what it is, Jim. <laughs> yeah, it is. Yeah. Oh, he got kick off, kick off return. So there is a chance. There is a chance. Hey. Hey. Yeah, exactly. I found the yeah. So like you know, just things can. Just getting it on the board is a lot better versus Kemri, isn't it? Like, if that's versus Skaven, then, then you fucking make the stall, right? <laughs> humans. Against humans, you stall it, definitely, and you, you you know. But against Kemri, I think it's probably better to bang it in. Look, Dimi, the trick is getting another screen, and one keeps the work screen and the other blood ball, and you play blood ball and look like you are working. <laughs> it's more or less what I do, except with the part that I actually have to work, unfortunately. <laughs> <sighs> well, how long is this game going? Um, an hour and five minutes. Jesus, feels like more longer. <laughs> it feels like a fucking year. <laughs> yeah, is well, like, we're just is used it... to we're just used to doing replays, aren't we? Which are like twenty odd minutes. Yeah, no, and more cars or more, uh, you know, more death and destruction. Yeah. 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 Right. Calm down, again. son. <laughs> <laughs> it's been there's Akeo and Akaz, which is like crazy, isn't it? <laughs> it's pretty crazy. I would like to say this has been one for the Blood Bowl purists, you know, not the uh, the bashers, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. but that's not N true either. <laughs> Naf, Naf players, Naf players will love uh, this kind of game, you know, tactics and all that. No crazy skills working all the time. <laughs> and here comes the... Well, <laughs> there, goes, there goes the quick, there goes oh. the kick. Oh. And the quick snap as well to help them a bit more. Lining speed, uh, reflexes here from the Camry. 
Did he just kick centre pitch? Yeah, I think, I think he might have done. Bellend. I think that was uh, the the scatter. No, the scatter a kick off. Uh, yeah, two squares. Yeah, two or one. So maybe he did. I don't know. That's weird, isn't it? He must have forgotten kick. Yeah. He must have forgotten kick. Hello, well, dude, Reno. Yeah, the opposite. Chunter's round one. Chunter's, Chunter's round one was insane. Chunter is the most busiest coach in history of blue ball. Between <laughs> choosing winning a game, turn 16, or rolling an injury, he chose the injury. You know, people say, oh, Abash, I do this, I do that. No, no, no. We're talking turn 16 cup game. <laughs> J5. J5 says some things that are uh, are pretty pretty funny sometimes, doesn't he? I can't repeat it, but it was pretty funny. <laughs> uh. <laughs> oh dear! He didn't know he only scattered he only scattered one square. He rolled a two. Roll a two, and uh, yeah. Two squares. So uh, I, I think he in it in the direction was two. So I think he did. I think he kicked it. I think he I think he kicked it there, and it went one two, and it went two, and he didn't use kick. Schoolboy error. If, Mike it, if he'd gone did. there, and it would have gone, it would have gone two, and it would have landed there, and it would have gone. It would have. Uh, he wouldn't have been able to reach with a kickoff return, and then he would have been here instead of here. So. <laughs> Timmy. <laughs> <laughs> he just says what everyone is thinking if everybody was a psychopath. <laughs> I agree with the statement, Dimi. I agree with the statement. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. Dimi dropping the truth bombs. Yeah. Is there a play here, guys? I mean, there is just an uphill. Uphill on this guy and then hit the ball, right? That's That's, that's certainly a play that you could do. It's rowdy. Seems it's not happening. No, it's not. Much better get double skulls there. Yeah, I mean, you know, you want to be sensible, right? When you when your opponent's only got three turns, it makes sense to be sensible. Four. Cheeky cam. That's it. You only need to stop the camera, which is... Uh... <clears throat> it shouldn't be too hard, as long as you play. Safe and sensible. Strong and stable, that's all you need to be, isn't it? Strong and stable. Exactly. Exactly. Back in a second. <laughs> big, big dodges now. Yeah, big dodges, no reroll. Um, so GFI is an issue. Uh, don't know, he's going to have to GFI to elf screen here. Oh no, he can dodge. Um, Center right, can't he? He can dodge out. Yeah, I think you've got to dodge these first because I think yeah. if this one had failed, like obviously this one is the best one to get there, but if it fails, it's like terrible. And having a blodge guarder there is a pretty good spot to have a player. So I, I much preferred failing one of these like first yeah. and then still having that. Unfortunately, the Kemri just don't have the speed to switch to the left here, do they? <laughs> Not <laughs> they really, just, no. They just lack the speed. Yeah, and he's still he's still got stuff here, so like he's still holding it. He's still he's still covering the switch anyway, isn't he? He's not like he is. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> good good play by Barza. Little bit fortunate, you know. Dice yeah. rolling. After, well, he you can also uh, he was a bit unfortunate rolling the snakes. So yeah. you know, nothing give up and all that. Yeah. Hatch down on the skelly, possibly the worst injury. <laughs> <laughs> it was a DP skelly as well, wasn't it? You know, they're renowned for their dodging. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and throughout the whole match, like, he's taken nothing. He's taken one Kaz against a team with a tackle mighty and a tackle pom, which he then luckily removed, and dirty player and three reserves. Like, it's. He's definitely had the better of the dice, Barza. Overall, yes. Wow, Timmy, this is, this is the moment in it when you, know. you get 
<laughs> this is that moment when you get that feeling in the pit of your stomach when you know you're going to lose. <laughs> You've just got to play out another turn or two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Green pepper's fine. I, I, like, I don't hate it or anything. I just prefer red. Red, 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 red. I just like peppers. Yeah. Yeah, like it. Yeah, I just like I don't dislike it. I don't dislike green at all. I just prefer red. Which is fair, isn't it? Red ones go faster, yes. exactly. Ah, yes. Well, I eat mine mostly raw. I love that random skelly on the far left. Yeah, yeah, I like it. I like doing it as well. It's a threat. Like, it's a genuine threat. It is. It's a nuclear option, isn't it? If everything else goes wrong. Sometimes you need to roll Oh, he's wow. giving himself another scoring threat. Nice. Look at the speed. <laughs> Slow down there. <laughs> yep, he's gone to the purple chess school of movement values. <laughs> There is a chain here to push the ball one square back. Yeah. And also just to get an instant 2D on the ball, which he's surely going to do. <sighs> like, this is just an instant 2D on the ball. What the hell? What the hell, Plo? Yeah, that's pretty bad, isn't it? Yeah. You, you've got to be, you've got to be mindful of leaving chains. Yeah, this is like the easiest turn of Baz's life, isn't it? Two D on the ball with Rackle as well. Guess Maybe uh, now Baza probably thinking if he should make the the chain two D into two D, which I think he hundred percent should. So what? So are you looking from the back? Are you looking from the back? Are you? So this rookie catcher, chaining the ball carrier, what onto this? No. No, I would just just hit the tomb guardian and then. Uh, yeah. And then blitz the ball with the rackle, but he's not doing it. Well, you can drop guards in and give yourself a two D. Yeah, yeah. That's, that was the thing. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I just I just don't understand. Not. You could have done the, the assist to get two D on the tomb guardian and then two D on the ball carrier. I, don't, I just don't understand playing it like safe like this. I think it was better just just 2Ding the ball. But and um, yeah, no, yeah, you, the, the 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 tomb guardian play was the way to go there, wasn't it? Yeah, there was. I mean, the thing was uh, there. <laughs> uh, the guards 2D, then another 2D, wrestle tackle on a block uh, dodge piece. I mean, match made in heaven. Yeah. I I definitely could, Tony. I definitely could do that. But then I've probably eaten more raw bell peppers than anybody else. The only pepper Dimmy likes is Dr. Pepper. <laughs> yeah. We'll have to do hot we'll have to do hot ones as well sometime, Dimmy. Maybe mo maybe multiple people from the Blood Bowl community could do hot ones. Oh with yeah, me. do you know what? Actually my eldest son Lewis, right? He can actually eat Thorium, right? He could eat a nuclear reactor's ass <laughs> and he'd be fine. Seriously, I've never known anyone to eat spicy food like it. Yeah. Um we bought those. We bought those nuclear chilies off of um, Amazon, like the two million Scoville chilies. Yeah. Uh, the chili flakes. Put it over a pizza, and he actually said it was really delicious. You're like what? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wang, Wang is like that. It's just he has like you know the hottest thing possible, and he's like, oh, this is mild. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like what's wrong with you, you lunatic? <laughs> I, I like spicy food, but there's a limit. Um, <laughs> I bought one of those atomic curries from Iceland. A while ago and that was too much for me and yeah my oldest son was like oh i'll have yours dad <laughs> okay yeah i went there when i went on a trip to germany to a small town to it was a meeting our uh, world of warcraft uh, guild 
there was a food place there which the translation of the name was more or less pain food and it was <laughs> ultra, ultra spicy stuff i only tried the chips and my uh, tongue went numb it was like oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> and people people try the the ultra low of the menu and i remember people uh, getting the uh, you know going taking their shirts off and rolling on the snow on the snow outside <laughs> and there was the the ultimate one that was like a meatball surrounded by jelly surrounded by something else that uh, we ask you know has anyone ever completely eat that <laughs> and one of the regulars turned around and said, one day, oh, wow. a man Look at this. came. <laughs> oh! Yeah, he's like, this was bad, I think, from from Basil. Like, it was an instant 2 on the ball. Like, dude, I think you had to, I think you had to. Uh, and if he'd, if he'd actually ball. chained, even if he chained the ball carrier back a square, that wouldn't have been well. It would have yeah. been a pass as opposed to a handoff. Mm. Yeah, even even if you pushed him, but I mean, you could hit with Rackle, two D with Rackle, like, dude. <laughs> I think he had to go for that, but I guess he was just scared of like the failure state again, and he thought this was strong. But I think he had to go for it. It wasn't the worst play I've seen in a turn sixteen of this uh, season <laughs> cup. Not by far, no. <laughs> but, uh, I just thought it should have been. Just thought it should have been better. Right here we go. The Kemri win the toss. Oh my God! This could have be this could be a bit of a throw by Bazza. Like only a bit. Like that's being really harsh, by the way. I'm not, you know. Like, uh, yeah, I'm I'm not really a fan of hot food to be honest. But I just do hot ones just because you know I'm a badass and I'd do anything. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I I couldn't stand the uh, very spicy food. When I was a kid, or years ago, and now I'm always able to tolerate it. And mm. I was like, "Oh, that's good." But then I read: is as older you get, the more the tolerant you become to spicy food. And I was like, "Oh, I'm not becoming tough. I'm not becoming, you know, a hard uh, man. I'm just becoming an old man." Yeah, exactly. Yeah, <laughs> you just get your taste buds are shot to shit. Yeah, the taste, taste buds <laughs> die. You know, it's like, "All right, all right, <laughs> buggy hell." <laughs> no, I probably would throw up eating, eating Spice Girls a day. Like, I probably would. I would just do it anyway because I wouldn't care. Like, it's, it is good content, yeah. isn't it? If, even if I was terrible, it'd still be funny, wouldn't it? It'd still, still be funny to do. And uh, for you British people, so you can feel even older, the Cheeky Cheeky Girls are making a comeback for their 20th anniversary. Wow, really? Yeah. <laughs> That's amazing. Yes. I was checking Google News and suddenly Cheeky Cheeky, wait, wait what? I fucking love the Cheeky Girls. <laughs> I only know them because you used to put them on your stream and I was like, what the heck? <laughs> Glorious. The first new single, the first new single, first new single in 15 years. Holy shit. And yeah, 20 years after the uh, pop stars, the rivals in 2002. Holy shit. They're nearly the same age as this me. This summer, yeah. discover our oh, brand God, new shit. Shit. Amazing. <laughs> the cheeky girls. <laughs> they were so good. <laughs> Oriel lenses, I didn't even see what he said. Oh, hey, your chat, I'm not banned in yet. <laughs> Amazing. Amazing. <laughs> Get off my fucking bitch, prick. <laughs> oh, dear me. Dimmy on the warpath. <laughs> This is crazy. No rerolls for Plo, though, still. So this is... Uh, it looks like Kick Forgotten again, yep. I mean, how is it not over here? So, yeah, it must have been. Kick was set up correctly. Um, there's a cast. 
scatter kickoff was eight, it did go six. But if it was here, one, two, three, um, that would be about where it was. So yeah, maybe you did just put it in the middle. I've got no idea, no I haven't been to Newcastle for years. Like, babies over a decade. <laughs> Yeah, probably over a decade since I've been in Newcastle. Oh, Ooh, yeah, there we go. Praying for the chicken, second cheeky bits. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm not a fan of chicken wings, but I'd, I'd do hot ones. I would eat a food I didn't, <laughs> a food that I didn't like and couldn't endure, <laughs> just for content. What a badass! <laughs> Yeah, chicken thighs, yeah. Yeah, we'll do chicken thighs, Dimmy. <laughs> we'll do chicken thighs. Oh, is he not is he not gonna go on pressure? I guess he doesn't have to, he's got one reroll. He's got the kekwity. Oh well if he's counting with that, good luck. Yeah. Yeah, I do prefer a thigh to a breast. The thing is, that just the breasts are bigger, aren't they? So that's that's always good. <laughs> do like a big breast? <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Way. <Wait. laughs> I'll do chicken feet. Can't fix it. That's a good idea, isn't it? That's a good idea, that, isn't it? Hot ones. Blood ball hot ones. Just, I yeah, just count, get count me on that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I think it's a good idea. We can we can work out like what what things to have. So we're all on we're all on an equal footing and we can do it online, can't we? I think it should work. I think it should work, shouldn't it? If we start arranging it now, Jim, we might be able to do it next February, about the same time this game finishes. So <laughs> God, please. <laughs> Let it stop. No, like we could do it online, couldn't we? We could just do it online, yeah. right? Just yeah, 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 yeah. Just do a zoom call, yeah. You can do a uh, one paper, one uh, war. Yeah, yeah. We can just say uh, like, just all, we all go, we go on Discord and then we go like, right, these are, you buy these thighs from Morrison's and you buy these sauces from Morrison's and then, or, or other other supermarkets are available. <laughs> and then we'll all get all the same things and then we'd be like, right, let's yeah. fucking go. <laughs> <laughs> Aldi, okay, we'll get them all from Aldi. <laughs> Aldi, the cheap ones, the ones that have all the chemicals. <laughs> oh, look at PC here coming with the white rolls. <laughs> actually, Aldi do really, really nice. I actually had spicy uh, chicken thighs from Aldi tonight, and they are amazing. Oh, wow, glorious. Well, thanks for that, fighting mongoose. I can tell you who it's going to be now. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Now you have to do it that everybody's opening the bottle of the sauce, you know, yes. at the same time. Yes, yep. They have to be. It has to be an unopened bottle. <laughs> no, actually, right. I'm, I've, so I was just giving that some thought in my head. I do that occasionally. <laughs> oh, Gymcon. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we could do it at Gymcon. Hot chili competition at Gymcon. Oh man, yeah, we need, we need, we need to do that. Be glory, glorious. It would Wanger be pretty will glorious, win. but it. Wanga will probably win. To be fair, I would be very surprised if anyone beats Wanga. And even if he doesn't, he's going. Who is going to argue with him? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there is that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah, obviously people might, like, you don't know, right? Like, if you knew Jelly, you'd say, wow, Jelly would probably, Jelly would probably win a, a chess competition, but then you don't know who else would turn up. But it'd be very, I'd be very surprised if, if Wanger didn't win. I beat Wanger all the time. <laughs> Flip me. I, li I like hot food, but I have a limit, you know, and it sounds like Wanger doesn't have a limit. <laughs> Oh, 
<laughs> Could have met any heat by closing time in the gymless gym con. <laughs> oh, you could have taken any heat at the, at the end of the first gym con, Ori, and nobody would have found you. <laughs> the disappearance of Oriolensis at gym con. Brilliant. Oh, look, a small French charcuterie and importer from Purple Chest. <laughs> Probably he means frozen foods and the people serving there is a French student. <laughs> oh dear. Levitated the fuck out of there. Brilliant. Oh, is he blitzing this one? Like, this is leaving, uh, leaving the... the corner crack on more, but it was a great player to remove, which he did. Look a dog. Not missing his Pommer, is he? So if he can get someone round, which he just obviously can, he could 1D, but then maybe he, maybe he just uphills to try and get this hit in. Uphill for the 1D ball sack? Yeah. Admire his ball sack. Easiest ball sack of his life. He could just come round here as well, right? He could just, could just uphill there and then he can blitz with a strength 4. That's definitely an option. He doesn't seem to want to do anything like this, though, does he, Bazza? Which I think is, you know, maybe he should, he should have been more open. Like, I guess he did do an uphill once and then rolled a skull in, in fine gym style. <laughs> he tried one uphill and it was an instant disaster. But I feel like he should have been more up for doing things like that. Because I just don't feel like this is going to work. Like, he, he didn't stop him when he only had three turns. So I don't know why I think he's going to stop him when he's got eight turns. You know, I guess if he gets a lucky fail uh, with no rerolls, but it's 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 going to have to get lucky. Hoping for a mistake. Well, hoping for a like a fail rather than a mistake, right? I mean, uh, hoping for a di dice fail or a horrible yeah, mistake. A yeah. one in nine or something like that. An absolutely horrendous mistake. Like it's it's unlikely, isn't it? I think I think Faz has played too passive um, in in the three turn drive and in the overtime, which is you know not the worst thing in the world, is it? But I just think you know, he hasn't done anything wrong, has he? I just think maybe he should have tried to do things a bit more right. <laughs> oh, that sounds stupid. I've just done a. I've just Public done a image limited song, innit? Is it? I could be wrong! <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna sing. I only sing when I get paid. <laughs> yeah, dog to the dog. I think, yeah, I think he should have. I think he should have played more ballsy. But, but I can understand him not and stuff. It's, it's a very minor. Quibble, if you like, it's like a nitpick more than anything, isn't it? This game's so engrossing, we're having a conversation about the pros and cons of supermarket chains. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> you can tell we're all a certain age, can't you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Like, oh, you get this offer there, or you can get vouchers if you go. Fucking hell. I go to my local Tesco because there's a young lassie that helps me with the change. <laughs> oh, dear me. But that is a great idea for, for Jim Con, for sure. We'll. Uh... We'll do, we'll do that. We'll do the hot wings thing. Well, not hot wings, hot thighs. Hot thighs. <laughs> oh, dear me. He's getting in the way, but he's running out of players because am amazingly, the mighty blow tackles has finally taken some kind of a toll on him. Hey, I started playing when I was 10, Big Lad Gaming, so there you go. Hanging on to that extra reroll like Jim holds on to one turn, what else? <laughs> oh dear.
<laughs> yeah. Hancock, can we are shit? <laughs> <laughs> and, and if anyone knows it's Hancock, he took one of the best ever Camry teams to challenge. I was thinking that, uh, that uh, he, created, he created the gold standard of uh, Camry teams from Charlie's. <laughs> he was the best Camry team I've seen. <laughs> and still they were shite. Oh, the Coxler. To be fair, there'll be a lot of people with miniature collections that cost more than sports cars for that. <laughs> my 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 friend definitely has spent more more money on on Games Workshop than he would have done on a sports car. Hundred percent. Okay, well, it's turn 21, it's still happening. <laughs> well, at least it's more or less going uh, quick. Yeah. It's already turn 21. Okay, yeah. Rock hard already. today. And so was my cock. <laughs> it's certainly got the best uh, sound bites out there, but no. Kemri? Uh, Hancock's. Oh, my. I was trying to say Kemri, then Kislev instead of Hancock. Jesus Christ. Hancock's definitely had a really good. A really good Camry team. Oh yeah, I remember that the it was the thing with the all the Tomb Guardians have block. Yeah. Something like that. It was it was mental. It was a fantastic team. Yeah. Oh well, there's a removal. Evens things up a bit. What are we on now? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine Camry and nine Zons. So holy moly. Boris the Bullet Dodger, holy shit! <laughs> That's so good. <laughs> great, great movie. He does have the Kekwadi. I personally think there's not enough politics in Jimmy Fantastic's uh, stream myself. Uh, make Kenry great again. <laughs> Unnerfed DP 2020. Yeah. Yeah. All policies that we can get behind, eh, Jim? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> do you remember? Do you remember at Studman's April Fool when he said, <laughs> he said yeah. "Block and dodge your fair," <laughs> and, and then that was the title of his blog. <laughs> and then it was like, "Just joking, <laughs> April Fool." <laughs> <laughs> oh, honestly, Studman, the legend. <laughs> he, uh, I, I genuinely wish. Stubman was a part of Blood Bowl too, oh, and God, that he yeah. should, um, stream. Could you imagine it? It'd be oh, amazing. My, yeah. Oh my God. Absolutely amazing. That's what I tried to do when I started, right? With the uh, with the fucking what's it, the aviators and that and the Top Gun thing. I was like, I'll, I'll bring, yeah. I'll bring Stubman to. Uh, but obviously, I couldn't because he's fucking hilarious and I'm not. But uh, so good, so good, study. Absolutely. Well, there's funny, there's Jim funny, and then there's Studman funny, isn't there? And Studman <laughs> is just amazing. Yeah. <clears throat> Where'd you live, 2010? <laughs> Where'd you live, 1970, mate? What about it? <laughs> I mean, he's getting forward, isn't he? But like, somehow, there's only two turns left for Plo now. Or so... somehow, Jim, there's actually two turns still left of this fucking game. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so, no, Steve. Like, what happened was he stopped playing, then he like came back for a couple of games, and then stopped again, then came back for like one or two and stuff. And he's done that a few times, coming back for one or two. Yeah. Massive shame. Massive shame because he was just. As as with all geniuses, uh, quite misunderstood by a bunch of people. But me and Jim understood him. Yeah. We 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 uh, embraced the shirt copter, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. which led to a lot of people misunderstanding us. But there you yes, go. It did. Yeah, didn't it ever? <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Oh, it's funny how we we were really on board with that, wasn't it? You know, mm -hmm. um, it was just brilliant, wasn't it? It was just hilarious. It was so good, yeah. Absolutely loved study. Wanger did as well. Like that was study was Wanger's okay. favorite thing about a fumble. Yeah, <laughs> he's like, yeah. I don't give a shit about blood ball. <laughs> What's stud <done>, man's mates? <laughs> I'm still searching for that legendary meme, Jim. Oh, I have so I have sent Studman. Um, I have sent Studman a direct message in oh, Fumble, yes. but I think he's gone. So yeah. yeah, I would love that. It was so good, wasn't it? The BB the BBRC called this balance. We call it murder kill. <laughs> <laughs> It just read like an 80s intro, like the A team or something, didn't it? You know, the dum, da, 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 dum, da, da, dum, in the background. You, honestly, it was just so good. And and the really badly photoshopped claws on Maverick, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it was incredible. Absolutely incredible. Uh, this, is a, this is a bit tricky, isn't it? For yeah. more Plovac to negotiate. Uh, how how did Skemry score? I'll tell you, Spooky Beans. He barreled forward. He left a Tomb Guardian based in the, in front in one square in front of his ball carrier. And Baz had turned down the one or two D to get two D on the ball with Rackle, and instead just stood in front of him. And then uh, Plo had a blitz ra eight squares away, and then just blitzed him free, handed off to him, and scored. So it was it was weird. It was very weird. More Plovac just realised that he actually had to GFI there with no re-rolls because he was actually in the way. <laughs> <laughs> Bell end. <laughs> <laughs> no, shit plays unfair, but I think he just, I think he just, uh, you know, only for that particular wonder. play, you know. Yeah, but even then, he, he just, he just wanted to go with like the safe thing and. I think in yeah. retrospect, it's easy to say it was wrong, but you know, if it had worked, then it would look the Late right stages way, of the it? Chalice game, we've all been there, haven't we? You yeah. know, some of us forget to score. Um. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. You didn't want to get space cadeted, exactly. Like if if that one D, like I don't, I think he could have made it two D into two D, but like if he goes for the one D and skulls out, then all of a sudden he's exposed <clears> and, <throat> and might get scored yeah. a lot easier. So yeah, that's that was the thing, isn't it? It's just the risk reward assessment was not the same as mine. Doesn't mean that I'm right and he's wrong. Do you um so the ball carrier now, do you drop it um basing the DP in between that tackle ra and the oh, Tomb Guardian? Yeah. No, the answer is you just GFI I would have probably just left him there. Um but the GFI makes it even better, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah, I would have gone there. The way we roll GFIs, Jim, we would have never done that GFI. <laughs> I would have attempted it. I think maybe he should have just GFI'd with the with the Tomb Guardian again, right? And then he could have GFI'd to here, which is so it's saving him the GFI on the end and it's just getting it a bit better overall. Yeah. Problem maybe. with that, Jim, was if he'd failed that, then he was pretty much up shit creek. Yeah, but I mean, he does that if he fails anyway, right? Like, he's, he's, yeah. he's giving himself an extra GFI by going sideways there instead of forward, so... Either way, he's going to have to do them, so maybe he should have just done them like. Yeah, yeah. It sucks, but there you go. Yeah, zones are really slow. Yeah. Well, another mighty elf screen. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's a lovely I mean, elf screen. They have a, a very easy work here if they want to, you know, stop the Camry. Just putting bodies in, more or less in front. Yeah, but That's does he use another... his re-roll? That's the question, isn't it? Does he use his last re-roll? Yeah, can't, I think the guard, the guard and the tackler should go behind the IG4. Yeah. He's a dodge away from this being a pretty solid elf screen, isn't he? Yeah. So. yeah. Yeah, two dodges, isn't it? So he blitzes, he blitzes the tackler, and then he just moves, and then he dodges. So it's like one dodge. No, nope, that's not what he's doing. He's not even going for a blitz here, is he? He's going to blitz the ball. He could blitz the maybe, ball. Maybe one, two, three, uh, four, ball carry at the end. Yeah. Yeah. Dodge this catcher out. Yes, and, and if, if uh, you <clears throat> push, even if with a push, is there enough? I think to make it things a uh, living hell for the Camry. Yeah, I think this guy should have blitzed, right? Because if he blitzes, 
he gets 2d he's got an assist and then this guy just moves to there without having to dodge and then he one in nines i think that was better because i don't know how he even yeah okay so he tags there and then he blitzes with this one and then he gets that one free okay yeah that works yeah that works And then he moves there, and then he dodges yeah. to tag. And t tagging the ball carry there is pretty sick, isn't it? So he should get the he should get the stop here. And these will go to kicks. Yeah, if you tag the ball carrier here, that's huge, isn't it? Yeah. I think you've got to make the risk, right? Like, it, okay, if he fails and you've freed up two players, but it's just there's so much higher the pair. Oh no, he's going for the counter score. Oh my god. Oh no, this is a mistake. He should have just tagged the ball carrier. Oh my god, he's going for the counter score. Canoring threat. Okay, I wasn't expecting that. I was not. No, that is the absolute definition of a canoring threat, isn't it? Yes. Because it would have made it the defense so much stronger by tagging the ball carrier. So much stronger. But how strong is it already? That's the thing. It, it, does it need to be much stronger? And the answer is no, because it's already strong enough. So, if it's already strong enough, then that's that's what you do, isn't it? I don't know. He uphill oh, blitzes. Was... He's just got an uphill blitz, right? Oh, no, he can't because there's a guy there. Oh, yeah, he's, uh, this is really tough. HMP ends the turn, unless he catches it, yeah. Yeah, it is pretty strong. So yeah, I th like that's the thing, isn't it? It's just, it's just, it's just, it's just the personal, your personal equity assessment of, if if you know, if you think he's like one percent score or less, then there's no point making it point one percent, is there? By basing him as well, just uh, just get the uh, just get the scoring threat. Yeah. Like even if it's much str like it's much stronger basing him. But it's already so strong that making it much stronger doesn't make that much difference. That's why I always think it's stupid. In in Battle Brothers, they always say about how melee defense is uh, is like has has like exponential returns. But it like it doesn't really because it just doesn't matter once it's already so good. Do you know what I mean? So like it yeah. it seems stupid when people say that sort of thing. If you're already if you, if someone if your opponent's already only got like one percent, making it point one percent doesn't really make much difference. And then they're like, but it Five makes plus. it ten times harder. <laughs> Five plus, four plus, coming up. Yeah. Yeah, 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 five, four, yeah. Five, four, two. And he's got dodge. Here we go, lads. Five, four, the two. The magical yeah. dodge play from the Camry. And he couldn't tag him or anything. This is some uh, can we Kobayashi Maru shit, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's not terrible. It's <clears throat> not terrible. Whoa, whoa. Oh my god! Oh, my oh wow! Oh, wow. <laughs> Makes the dodges trim wires. Oh, now, it was what sticking around twenty-four it turns for, wasn't it? Unbelievable! Oh wow! Wow, wow. Yep, the Hail Mary pass is there. Let's flip and go. No, of course you don't re-roll it. Well, if you catch it, if you get to the catch, you re-roll the catch. Well, you've already got catch. So if you get to the GFIs, you re-roll it. Don't re-roll it. And you've got shoe hands for the pickup. So you don't re-roll the you don't re-roll the one on the Hail Mary like that's mental. Oh, he's not going to Hail Mary. He's going to hand off to this one, and then he can just he's throw it. Pass. Again, Robert from the Magic yeah, Moment of the Hail Mary that. pass. No, it's a better play. But fuck's it's sake, Bazza, you've taken a Hail Mary pass. Give us something, you dickhead. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking give us something! Master was one of the writers of Game of Thrones, you know? Always promising and never delivering. Fuck's sake, play, playing optimally. Oh well, he failed. And here we go for kicks. <laughs> Let's go. HMP would have probably worked. Yep. <laughs> Right, let's see. So he's about 68% to win here, Bazza. Two 
Tomb Guardian Give me scores easy. Shit at this game. Yeah, the dead people in the end zone is always funny, isn't it? Easy, easy one. Easy, easy one. And now it comes the real deal. Another oh. Tomb Guardian. Oof. Scores. Unbelievable. They're the same as mummies, aren't they? I think the Tomb Guardian, same same animation as mummies. I, yeah, I think it's the same animation. Yes. Yeah. Oof. The technique on the Amazon kicks is is amazing, though, isn't it? <laughs> they've been training. They've been training for this just in case. Reminds me of Polo De Canio, <laughs> the volley he scored. If anyone remembers that, he's missed. Oh. He's missed, Baza wins! Unbelievable, Jeff! And Baza wins! Thanks to the extra roll! Yes! Yeah, for West Ham, yeah. And Amazons, one step closer to not winning the, the Chalice again. <laughs> yeah. Well, Dimmy once again proved right. <laughs> 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 no, proved wrong. Amazon's won. I was just thinking Plo. I was thinking Plovac had lost, <laughs> and I just thought Plovac was Amazon's. Oh my god, what an idiot! Right, um, more well, Plovac lost, which he wasn't Amazon's. If you don't, know, if you're just watching this on YouTube, more Plovac always plays Amazon's in CCL, so it's crazy seeing him not playing the Amazon's. He um, plays Amazon's and Kenry, <laughs> to be honest. Uh, yeah. Well, so this was a very confusing game. Yeah, right. So there you go. Commiserations, Mo Plovac. Congratulations, Baza. What a glorious 42 hours. Maybe proving Dimmy wrong because he's won in the first round, but of course, probably still won't ch win Chalice. Thank you very much, Fimir and Calcium. Absolutely glorious. Welcome. Thanks. It's always a pleasure. And thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.